This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. June 28, a real Jesus. Matthew 7, 3 says, And why worry about a speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own? Matthew 7, 3. I remember that the first film I saw about Jesus was The Gospel According to St. Matthew by Pierre Paolo Pasolini. I still find it sad to think of the black and white image of Jesus over gray lives. I appreciate a smile from the Jesus of the classic Ben-Hur because he introduced the East Man color in my life. I found, however, his most complete picture at the end of my teen years, reading Ellen G. White. Here's just one detail as proof. I tried to shield myself from his gaze, feeling unable to endure his searching eyes but he drew near with a smile and laying his hand upon my head said, fear not. The sound of his sweet voice thrilled my heart with happiness and it had never before experienced. I was so joyful to utter a word, but overcome with emotion sank prostate at his feet. While I was lying helpless there, scenes of beauty and glory passed before me, and I seemed to have reached the safety and peace of heaven. At length, my strength returned, and I arose. The loving eyes of Jesus were still upon me, and his smile filled my soul with gladness. His presence awoke in me a holy reverence and an inexpressible love. Early Writings, page 80. The Jesus of the Gospels is a person who loves, who heals, who saves, and who is in a good mood. For example, in his day it was easy to compare the grotesque with camels, and Jesus uses this method to make exaggerations of such a kind that even his harshest messages are taken well. Matthew 19.24 says, I'll say it again, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. We can interpret this text in many ways, but do not tell me that the image is not funny. Or in Matthew 23, 24, and 25, blind guides, you strain your water so you won't accidentally swallow a gnat but you swallow a camel. What sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law, and you Pharisees, hypocrites, for you're so careful to clean the outside of a cup and the dish, but inside you're filthy, full of greed and self-indulgence, both a pill and a call to bettered hygiene. Two great truths wrapped in good humor. Jesus loves the people, but sometimes he had to say what he had to say. That's when he resorted to parables or humor, nice methods for complicated moments. This is a good lesson to apply to our lives. Whatever our situation may be, it would do us well in difficult times to follow the Spirit of Jesus. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this. Walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours. And you will always live out your purpose. God bless.